So we can go into FS actions, we can go into payload, and then we need to go and put in the, what the zero fuel weight was. So it's 58.8 today. 58.8. And then we can go ground services. And we wanted, I think it was, sorry, 7.7. 7, yeah. 7,000, oh, 700 in there for our target. We'll go and request the fuel truck and get them to arrive. Now, uh, one thing that I do need to do is I just need to take some fuel out of here. So we'll just put in a random figure. So this is one thing that's really nice about it is the fact that it literally just basically replicates the screen. So if... Um, you know, if you're flying the PMDG, you can access the FS Actions page and the PMDG pages. You don't have to, you know, and if you're flying in the um, Zebo, it will replicate those screens. So that's one thing that's really cool with it. So, yeah, you could keep the sim cam right, on the OFP and program the CDU separately. Yeah, literally, that, that's one thing that's a really great advantage of it is that, you know, I can be staring in this view and still be programming the CDU and everything like that. Or have it on this view, as you say, and still be doing stuff on the CDU at the same time. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I am using FS. No, I'm using the Just Sim roads, I think. Just Sim. Yeah, which is only for V4, but it works. Yeah, Captain Canada's got it. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, is it possible to have some sort of compatibility with things like the FS Labs or the Tollis? Well, absolutely not, considering this is a 737 CDU. They, they are nothing like a, an Airbus one, so no, definitely not, I'm afraid. Um, right, we can click Start Refueling. And then that's loading in from there. Lovely. Um, right, let's go and have a look at the weather today. Um... So the wind's 290 degrees, 11 knots. So that, yeah, that absolutely would indicate a 2-6 departure, most likely. QNH is 1010. So we'll go and ensure that's in across the board. Lovely. So we've got things going on there. Let's go and uh, get some passengers boarding. With GSX. Love the stream from your home base. Hell yeah, Oriantan. How you doing, mate? FSDG roads, yeah. I just don't own it. I don't want to buy a second scenery for an airport that I've already got. Right, I need to go and open some doors. Need to go and open some cargo doors. So we'll go and do that there. And of course, you know, we can do that from an outside view. Any good Manchester scenery? Yeah, the UK 2000 one's probably the best one. I don't think it's got the updated terminal, but that's probably the best one. Cool. Can this be used with the Mad Dog MT-80? I know different than the 737. I don't think... Uh, on If you check out the Cockpit Master website, it says all the aircraft that it's designed to work with. I think it is just 737s, like the IXEG, the Zebo 737, then the PMDG 73, and it says it also works with the PMDG 74 and 777, but I've not tried that yet. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Um, can you change the MCP and the landing lights to the old one? That'll be in here, won't it? Equipment. There. I should not that off. Um. Go and see where that is. External light package, LED original. There you go. So yeah, it's really cool that you can do all of that whilst um, whilst there. Oh, that's not gone well. Maybe we won't use that. Okay, yeah, maybe we'll use that one, folks, because that other one didn't seem to work. I don't know why. Switch to outside view and inside again. Oh, really? Nope. That's weird. I've never seen that one before. How is this Ben Gurion scenery? Yeah, it's okay. It's not too bad. It's not the best in the world, but it does the job. Yeah, I don't know why that's not there. Right. Uh, let's start to go and get set up in the CDU then, shall we? Let's actually go and 
start this thing so um do you want me to have this screen so you guys can see it on here as well so you guys can actually see the main screen i think that would probably be better wouldn't it because you might not all be able to read the text on there um so we're on air app data 2109 which came into effect uh, last week and then we are at lima lima bravo golf today go and get our gps left position whack that onto the first page uh for our pos in it now it should i don't know why it's not copied that through the llbg onto there that's fine dolphino my goodness me thank you very much indeed for the 45 months my goodness where's the mask there it is uh, guys, if you're flying along with me today, just because of the airport Fancy. that we're going to, make sure to just go when you're ready. Please don't all wait for me and let's all, de like, all depart at the same time. Just kind of rock and roll when you're ready to go. Fancy, Dolphino. I fancy you. Ooh. Thank you, mate. Um, and what we're going to do is we'll go into the data link page and we'll do the ACAR stuff, shall we? So we'll do pre-flight. LLBG to LGRP. Estimated time of departure UTC will say 14.50. Estimated time on route was an hour and 17. Uh, the airline ID, they are Bravo Zulu. And BBG692 is our flight number. So we'll connect those and let that sync. Um, yeah, exclamation mark CDU should be the command. I don't know why it's not worked for you, Ivis. There you go. And so we'll just let that sync across. You can see it's got the GMT and everything all in. Can it be synced with an FOFMC? Yeah, so there's actually a thing in the latest firmware where you can select whether you want to be controlling the left or the right FMC. Um, I don't know how to do that. I've not looked at that yet. But I think that you can hot switch it between the left and the right CDU screen. Um, which is really cool, obviously. Um, and I think you can even hook two together for that as well. Right, that's activated. Um, so we'll go back into there and then do a flight plan request. And get that loaded in. Yeah, I think I think with the latest version, you the latest firmware version, you can switch between the two. Yeah, look, you can see CDU left there on the on the thing. So yeah. Right, root uplink ready. We're going load. So two people are doing shared cockpit and both of the CDU, can they be linked? Absolutely no idea at all. I don't know. root data uplink there we go so there's our routing uh we're expecting runway 26 for departure and so we'll activate and execute it right next thing to do will be to go and get our departure um but really we need to go and talk to atc first and just go and double check it so it's information um tango today and they're definitely saying 26 so there's only one option, which is the Suvas One Echo. And you can see the execute light lights up. And there we go. That's all programmed in. It is, Sam. It is, mate. And there we go. That's linked into there. Um, then we're arriving in via Foxley. So we'll go departures and arrivals. Arrivals into LGRP. And I believe we're doing the ILS Yankee. Uh, via Dexas on the Foxley One Golf arrival for roads, which we can execute as well. So that's our routing in. Uh, and what we'll go and do is we'll go and switch to the plan page. And then, of course, we can step through that flight plan now and make sure that everything's correct. So we're looking on the navigation display, make sure that we've got no discontinuities. 
and that our arrival is correct. Paddy, 31 months. My goodness me. Thank you very much. Isn't the Flight Deck Solution CD 500? Yes, but I don't know if that's plug and play. It might be. I'm not too sure. Thank you, Paddy. 31 months. I don't know how much the uh, the Flight Deck Solution CD is, but if that's 500 Great British Pounds, that's not too far off. I think this is 630 euros on Aerosoft. Yeah, no worries, Monkey. You have a good one, mate. I hope it goes well. Yeah. Watching you change the ND without going to the CDU feels... Yeah, it feels really weird actually just doing it. Um, okay, init ref. Uh, we could do a perf init request, couldn't we? And we'll go and load things through. Seven, six, eight euros with VAT. Ah, there you go. Yeah. So perfect uplink ready and we'll go and load it on there and execute it. Let's go and check that through. So we've got a zero fuel weight of 58.8. That's correct. According to our flight plan today, our reserves are 3.2. That's correct. The cost index, 18. That's fine. Um, we're actually cruising at flight level 340 today where the winds are 222 at 59. And then I need to go and look up the transition altitude here. It is 18,000. There you go. So 18,000 is correct. And we'll execute that as well. VAT is always the killer. Yeah. Um, we can go and get some wind requests in as well. Does it replicate the green bar for keyboard entry as well in the PMDG? Uh, I don't know if the green bar appears. It, I imagine it might do, but um, you don't need to do keyboard entry because obviously you just type it in. You can change the brightness and stuff on it as well. I just brought the brightness down just to make it, try to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see on stream. But you can change the brightness and stuff. Cruise wind uplink, flight level 340. We'll execute that. And then uh, we'll go and do a descent wind request as well. Hello. Yeah, there's no lag. I have had a couple of like double button presses and things like that. Yeah. Hello. Lovely. Right, so we're ready to go and get some performance figures in. Uh, we got a gross weight of 66.6. .6. God, I hope that doesn't mean we're cursed today. But let's go and get some performance in. Um, so the winds were 290 degrees at 11. Oops. And the QNH again was 1010. See if we can do TO2 and flat 5. Anti, uh, uh, sorry, AC on, uh, anti-ice off. And there we go. So we can go N1 limits. It's going to be a TO2 22k D rate today with a selected temp of 30 degrees centigrade. Uh, we'll say climb 1. So an N1 of 94.5. And then it's flat 5. Our CG today is 28.3, so that's going to give us a trim of 4.75. And then the speed to 138, 141, and 147. Connection wise, is it just USB? It's USB, nothing else. One cable and one bit of software that you have to install. So that's our CDU actually now set up and ready to go. Um, there's nothing else that we really need to do there. We can go and we could, if we wanted to, go and check through these and stuff like that, but. Um, yeah, that's it, really. That's all we need to go and do. So we're happy with the way the box is set up. So what I'll do is I'll just turn off that screen for now.